Kelly Robinson in the WUFT Newsroom. For Thursday, November 13th, here's your news in 90. A Port St. Lucie man is accused of an unusual crime. Investigators say the man tried to steal a chainsaw by hiding it under his clothes. They say the man walked into a lawn store and put a chainsaw down his pants and under his shirt. They say he made his getaway on a stolen bicycle. He has been charged with grand theft. A pair of kayakers received quite the surprise while fishing and paddling off the coast of Palm Beach. A 13-foot hammerhead shark taunted the two men. The kayakers say the shark followed them for nearly two miles and even bumped into one of their kayaks at one point before swimming away. They say the hammerhead took notice of a 16-pound dolphin fish they had caught. Automakers are uniting to protect your privacy. Some new systems in cars and trucks can pass along private information without the driver knowing. 19 automakers are pledging to not let any information end up in the hands of advertisers, insurance companies, or even the police without a warrant. The pledge by the Alliance of Automakers was sent in a letter this week to the Federal Trade Commission. Across the world today, people are setting records in honor of Guinness World Records Day. In Paris, dancers set the record for most simultaneous can-can kicks by a single chorus line in 30 seconds. In Tokyo, Katsumi Tamakoshi set the record in the 100-meter event, running on all fours. And in Arizona, Thunderlaw of the Harlem Globetrotters set the record for the longest basketball shot ever backwards. That's your News in 90. Thanks for watching.